principle of life is about associations. Nobody gets rich alone. Nobody comes happy and successful alone. And what an opportunity to be in a business where I can put a smile on someone else's face that when I met them, they were down and out and they were willing to be coached. They were willing to be led in the right direction. And let me tell you something, they'll keep drinking from that fountain because they were born for it. Garbage dumps out there with people thinking and influencing people in the wrong direction. You come into a business like this and you keep that antique stuff in your head, you're going to get the same old antique results you've been getting all along. I promise you. But you know, it's a funny thing. People here, I got to tell you something. I consider, in many respects, my life as a failure. You might say, how can you say that? You've got money, success, national champion, basketball player, recording artist, all the things you've done. You can, I say yes, because my passion is to help people move forward to a better life. And I'm going to tell you something. Of all the people that have ever heard me, the percentage of people who really grab it, grab it and change is very small. It's very small. It's like a sermon. You see, you go into a church service and you hear a great sermon and everybody in the audience gets it. Okay? You even get it better if the topics are going, your spouse, not you that day, you know? <laughs> okay? That's called awareness. Now there's three levels. Awareness is one level. Some of the people will go into acceptance. And acceptance, the numbers drop precipitously from the moment of inspiration to the moment of acceptance because again, at the unconscious level, when we go into acceptance, it starts making us uneasy because it's starting to reflect the garbage in our lives, the mistakes of our lives, our laziness, our procrastination, all the things that we know put us where we're at. So that's acceptance. The number of people that go from acceptance to implementation is small. I gotta ask you, which one are you? Because that's the question you need to ask yourself. Which one will I be this time? Is this just gonna be one more evening together? Well, we hear things that make sense, but we're not gonna do much with it. It was great, thank you for the talk. Or are you gonna own it for you? See, you need to own it for you. After that, you wanna understand the creative power of thought. And here's, here's a cycle I want you to be aware of. I think a thought, I feel a feeling. That's an emotion. The thought, plus the emotion causes me to act or not act. The combination of those three over time develop into my habits of response. Those habits of response over time build the circumstances of my life. You cannot break that cycle. So let me unwind, let's go back. So then if I monitor the nature of my thoughts, then I will probably elicit better emotions to correspond with higher thoughts, correct? Those two will begin to point out the errors of my habits, correct? I am at choice now to be able to change those. And when I change those, I start to notice that my circumstance in life begins to change. And then all of a sudden, because I'm moving in flow with how things work, okay, the whole universe started from spirit, from nothing. All the stuff we have is an after. What about us? Our minds and our spirits are creating our lives. You can decide to wake up as an inspirational human being or a dud. Pick one. Most people get up complaining because they have no passion, they have no goal, they have no target they surrender to. It's no wonder they live in the land of mediocrity. Mediocrity will keep you a prisoner. Oh boy. Aren't you sick of it? So do you recognize you need to change? Because all the motivation in the world, it's not going to do you a darn bit of good if it's only surface. Good quotes, good stories mean nothing. You got to go inside. You got to stir it up. You got to say, this time, I'm not letting it go. Once you get there, start changing your thoughts. You got to get tapes. You got to get books. You got to put some new programs in. Make sense? Okay? 
after that, we learn about things like commitment. Here's my definition of commitment. Commitment is doing the thing that you said you would do long after the mood you set it in has left you. Hmm. That ties into what? Perseverance. Perseverance is nature's greatest teacher. It takes you through the dry seasons of labor. It enables a person of average ability to become a superstar, where people with super talent without it become nothing. Are you listening? Perseverance is what stores up the experiences that you need to become great in what you're doing. Nothing else will bring it there. There's ups, there's downs, there's ups, there's downs, but I'm surrendered. So it's not gonna hit me the same way because I'm already starting including it. Whoa, what a golden nugget of wisdom. I surrender to what I want, I know what I want, I get around the right people to support me, I have a new attitude, I'm not looking to see how much I can take, I'm looking to see how much I can give. Hmm. I guess they want me to leave. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finish up, you know, sometime maybe I'll have more time to be with you, but I, I just love, you know, trying to, trying to just get people to be all they can be. And so I'm gonna leave you with a message, a message of love, okay? See, to me, love is the annealing cement of everything that works for the benefit of humanity, and the lack of it is the cause of everything that's not working for us. That one word, that one word. And you see, if you want more love in your life, I can give you a 100% formula how to get it. You give out more love. The more love you put out, the more you're gonna get, okay? Let your people know you care. The world's full of people out there that no one appreciates. They are automatons going back and forth, being threatened every day by performances for limited income. Let your people know you care and you will build a loyal, faithful following. People want to be around people who know where they're going, have a passion for what they're doing, and they have a chance to be in that type of environment. Let me tell you something. This company has that environment or I wouldn't be here. So when you leave here tonight, I want you to dance like no one can see you. And I want you to sing like no one can hear you. And I want you to love like you've never been hurt before. God bless you.